Welcome to Hoffa Plantation. This was a rice plantation that was owned by the same family from 1806 to 1973. Five generations lived on this plantation. First generation were Brailsford, then a Brailsford daughter married a troop, and a troop daughter married a den. The last generation was a brother and two sisters. He married but never had children, and the two sisters never married. So the last sister, Ophelia, died here in 1973 at age 87, giving the 1,268 acres out here to the state and leaving this home completely for furnished. We're now in the ladies' parlor. The bulk of this furniture is about 1780 to 1880. Some books in here actually go back to 1700 publishing dates. This is the Hoffel dining room. Uh, you'll notice uh, the Canton china on the uh, table. Canton china was brought into our region as ballast 200 years ago. It's priceless today, but originally it was just everyday china. Most of this china was brought into Derry, the little town north of here, and was unloaded right on the riverbanks in a flea market atmosphere, just sold to whoever got there first. This bedroom upstairs is one of the prettiest to me. Uh, the bed is around 1825 hand-carved mahogany. The bed is a feather bed, and if you can believe it, the bedspread on that bed, the grandmother knitted that bedspread in the 1850s. We're now in the master bedroom, and this bed is really rare. It's an original Charleston rice bed, probably 1780 to 1790. What makes this bed so rare? Not many of these survived the Civil War. Right now, we know we're four at this one. There's one, uh, two up in Charleston, and there's one in the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Huffel is in the north end of Brunswick, Georgia, near the Ottawa River. We're open uh, Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 5, and we're open on Sundays from 2 to 5.30. Normally, as a rule, we're closed on Mondays.